This is lesson 4 of my 10 lessons based on my experience reading 10 Swedish books in a single month. I mean this kind of book, not this kind of book, and not this kind of book. Although that would be impressive. If you want to see the rest of the series then the playlist will be in the description and if you want more things like podcasts, bonus videos, articles, answers to questions, all that, link to my Patreon will also be in the description. Self-promotion out of the way, this reflection is about whether there's such a thing as too much exposure to your target language. The answer is no. See you next time. Whoa, 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 not so fast. Because if you watch the first video in this series, then you'll have hopefully picked up on my attitude towards target language reading, which is to start reading, read far, read wide, read long, read deep, keep reading and don't stop reading ever. And that is because in general, I think people are going to sit on the conservative side of this fence, like thinking two books a year in their target language. But I can admit that reading 10 books in Swedish in a single month did have its downsides. Because there were days that even from a pure language learning point of view, I didn't spend well. Like for example, reading nine hours in Swedish, but not doing anything else. Now, of course, it's great to get that much exposure to your target language. I'm of the opinion that basically no amount is too much. It's not like pouring water into a cup. It's more like pouring water into a cup that has a hole in the bottom. So to fill the cup, you have to pour more water in than comes out the bottom. So basically, the more the better. However, when you're reading up to nine hours a day, you'll be processing anywhere between 50 and 100,000 words a day. And in a target language, some of those words are going to be unfamiliar. So something I'm trying to set up at the moment is some kind of vocabulary building system, some kind of spaced repetition thing. And in my opinion, about half an hour a day spent on this would be perfect. But when I'm reading for nine hours a day, there was just no time. And you could make exactly the same kind of argument for more exposure to different kinds of your language, like YouTube or a TV series or a podcast. So I'm not at all suggesting that 10 books in a single month is the ultimate language learning goal. It's a pretty YouTuberish goal, I'll be honest. I did it because at the start of this, I'd only ever read eight books in Swedish and I don't think that's enough. So I thought, I wonder if I could read 10 in the rest of this year. And then I thought, well, stuff that, I wonder if I could read 10 in a month. And now that I've done it and I know it's doable, I know that one a week, for example, is very doable because that's less than half as much. So I know that I can read one book a week and still have time for things like deliberate vocabulary building and TV series and still read heaps and heaps in Swedish. And I want you to do something similar for yourself. Work out what you could do easily then work out what you could do with a bit of a stretch and then work out what you could do if you were really stretched and that should be about three to four times what you can do easily and then just go for it. Good luck and thanks for watching and if you want to see the next video in the series I'm going to talk about how many books I aim to read in Swedish like ever and I think it's going to be one of my favorites to talk about so I look forward to seeing you then. Hej då!